Football is a simple game, according to former England striker Gary Lineker. 22 men chase the ball for 90 minutes, and at the end, the Germans always win. Luckily for Europe, what is sadly often true for football does not hold for monetary policy. Instead, it is the Italian Mario Draghi who keeps getting the better of Germany's central bankers, who are profoundly uncomfortable with loose monetary policy for obvious historical reasons. Nonetheless, as is clear from the market reaction to Thursday steady as she goes European Central Bank meeting, Mr. Draghi is struggling to meet unrealistically high expectations. Eurozone bonds took a hit, and the common currency initially rallied by the most in nearly a month on the back of the latest ECB meeting. Whilst the ECB stressed that it isn't trying to weaken the currency, policymakers can't be happy with the Euro's 4% gain against the dollar this year. The ECB president sounded defensive at his subsequent press conference. But in fairness, he is in a very awkward position. Investors have grown so accustomed to Mr. Draghi surprising positively that they repeatedly ramp up expectations to levels where he's now doomed to disappoint. Did they really think that an ECB board already struggling to convince its more conservative members that aggressive monetary stimulus is required would begin discussing helicopter money already? The euro later gave up all its gains and then some, suggesting that many investors realize this would be premature. If a central bank is going to experiment with Klaus Witzin total war against inflation, then it will be the Bank of Japan, first of all. It's tempting to conclude that the ECB is running out of ammunition to deal with all these concerns. But Mr. Draghi has a good track record of coming good over time. Investors should keep the faith for now.